everyone, this is Jean. I am so excited to be back on here after almost two years off of YouTube. I had just gotten busy with work, moving, and I got engaged. So it does feel like a lot has happened over this time, but I've gotten your requests and I really wanna make more videos again. Today we have a pairing video. I'm gonna be playing around with a piece that I've really been loving lately. This is just a basic floral print top. You can find similar anywhere. If you look at the colors here, they can be worn pretty much all four seasons, which makes this top really versatile. Not to mention this was only $15 at Loft. So we're gonna have two outfits, one work pairing, one casual pairing. And I wanna show you guys how to take really basic pairing ideas and elevate them just a little bit to make them look more put together and flattering. So let's get started. For our work outfit, I started with a very trusty and basic pairing of a cardigan, pencil skirt, and pops. When I evaluate an outfit, I look at it in pretty much three components, the color scheme, the silhouette and shape, and then the details. Looking at this outfit, the color scheme is okay, black and gray, it's safe, it's professional, but unless you work in a really conservative environment, I say why not live a little bit with color, especially in the summer. One easy way to play with printed pieces is to look at the pattern and pick out a color that you really want to accentuate with the second piece and then finish off your outfit with neutrals. All right, I feel more lively already. And keep in mind that the color definitely doesn't have to be exactly the same to be matchy-matchy. If you stay in the same color family, it's gonna look harmonious. I finished off this outfit with bronze neutral pumps, and that color is not gonna compete with anything else going on in this outfit. Next, let's look at our second element, silhouette. When I look down, do I see a lot of shape in this outfit? Not exactly, unless the shape I'm going for is a rectangular box. First of all, our top is a little bit too long and shapeless here. That's an easy fix. I'm just gonna tuck it in, and all of a sudden, I have my waistline again, and my leg line looks longer. Secondly, the cardigan here hits at hip length, which for me is the widest part of my skirt. So it's gonna connect with a straight line down and form that boxy shape that we don't want. So we're gonna swap it out for something a little more flattering. So now we have this cute cropped length cardigan that I really love. Contrary to the previous cardigan, which hit the widest part of my skirt, this one now hits at the most narrow part and it makes the whole outfit a lot more flattering. Moving on to our third element, details, which is the finishing touches on an outfit. That to me means layering, accessorizing, adding patterns and texture. But looking at our outfit, it doesn't need that much more. I would just finish this outfit off with a work tote and you're all set for work. As a bonus transition, if you're going for dinner or drinks after work, something fun, I would throw off this cardigan. I would trade our work tote bag for something fun, like a cute clutch, voila. And then let's switch our solid work pump for something a little more jazzy. I love these studded heels. They have great detail and a sexy ankle strap, but it's in the same neutral color to finish off our outfit. For a casual outfit, I've paired our floral top here with the basic combination of shorts and sandals. So let's go back to our three elements. First up, silhouette. Looking down, I would probably want to replace this more frayed, raggedy silhouette with something with cleaner lines, cleaner edges, and then our black rubber flip-flops here are not making my already shorter legs look any longer. All right, so I've changed into some trouser shorts, which I personally like for the little cuff, but you can also do cotton shorts, canvas shorts, I've also ditched my black rubber flip-flops with these neutral leg lengthening sandals. They have just the tiniest heel, so they're still really comfortable, but the color, since it's similar to my skin tone, it helps lengthen my leg. And for those of you who want completely flat shoes, I also want to share these Target sandals, which I love. But it's still in the neutral color family, and they can be worn with pretty much anything. Now for color scheme, I've done neutral on the bottom, neutral shoes. I'm just going to do a small accent accessory, like this yellow belt, to make the yellow in my flower pattern really stand out. For our last element, the details, I'm gonna do a little pattern mixing. The easiest way to mix patterns is to just make sure that the scale of the patterns are different enough so they don't clash. So here, the floral pattern is very large in scale. I'm gonna add a tote bag that is thin, narrow stripes, and it's also in the same blue color family. Now this is an outfit that you can wear to class, to run errands, and if it's a really beautiful sunny day outside, I would add in one more element of texture with the straw hat. So what did you guys think? Little changes do make a big difference, don't they? Well, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out my blog, 
Instagram or Facebook below for more ideas. And I'll see you guys on here next time. Bye.